Hey guys, it's Sin Queen, and this is part, uh, I want to say 432 of the Aspirations Challenge. In the last episode, I had said that I was ready to move on from living in Tartosa and having the cake shop, and um, the, the business was kind of fizzling out to begin with, so we actually sold that business, and... Uh, I, I had mentioned that we may be in a new a new house in this episode, and here we are. I went ahead and did it. Um, in the last part, we actually visited Gabriella and Corbin in Sulani because they also live in in this neighborhood. I think it's. Um, I thought I thought I knew which house it was, but I think it's this house. Yes, it's this house right here. So yeah, Gabriella and uh, Corbin actually live in this neighborhood. So they're much closer. They kind of live in the same sort of bay now. Um, but yeah, we're here in Solani. Not sure how long we'll live here for, honestly. It could just be another chapter in this story. This may not be forever, but um, yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to this. The plan is for Alejandra and Quentin to run a restaurant together. And so that's why we still have 68,000 in reserve because we're going to purchase a restaurant. So this is the house we're here with Luca who will be aging into a toddler tomorrow. Um, so we, it, it's a very different vibe than the last house. I don't actually like the island vibe, the island like decor. I'm not a huge fan of it. So that's kind of why I think um, we may not end up staying here forever because I think I'll kind of grow tired of it after a while, but I'm looking forward to living here for a little bit and seeing how everything goes. Uh, so yeah, living room here over here is the master bedroom. I have a crib in here just for right now because Luca, his upstairs bedroom has a toddler bed. So he needs this for one more night. Um, there's a little bathroom here. Kitchen is on this side. Dining area. Um, you already got yourself a glass of water. Upstairs, there is, um, bathroom over on this side. Then we've got Luca's bedroom. Like I said, it's just for toddlers. So, um, just for tonight, he will sleep downstairs. And then we've got Simone's bedroom, which has a child's bed because she will have aged up by now. And then there's a couple of balconies throughout the house on the main floor balcony. I put like the meditation stool, is that what that is? I'm not really sure. And uh, the yoga mat as well. We've got a barbecue and that's pretty much it. This house I think is meant to be on the water, but I just didn't really want to do that. So um, we're he up here on land. We can easily access the ocean though and we can swim pretty much anytime. So if that's what we want to do, um, we certainly can. So <laughs> now what we need to do, let's go put Luca in his crib. Um, and then Quentin, let me just see if Simone did age up. Okay, she hasn't aged up yet, but she will be like any minute. Also, today is Alejandra's birthday, so I'm gonna make a cake so that we don't forget about her birthday. Um, I do want to buy the restaurant and I want to get that stuff done, but first I want to get her birthday out of the way. Okay, and... Uh, we also completed Alejandra's aspiration in the last episode too, so that's all done. And that's kind of why I wanted to move on with her story and do something a little bit different because uh, we have the freedom and the time to do that. We can do anything we want now. Um, so I definitely want to explore different areas of this game, different things that there aren't aspirations for, like running a business. Um, and I just want to see our surroundings a little bit. Like, where are we here? I love the chickens. I understand this now after being, uh, I, I visited Hawaii for the first time back in April and I didn't understand the, like, the whole chicken thing, but now I get it. There really are um, chickens all over the place. So yeah, that I, I, I finally understand this. Before I was like, why are there chickens? But uh, we were in Maui and there are chickens truly all over the place. So that does make perfect sense. Um, I get the joke. Okay, so Quentin, let's add candles to this and then have her blow them out because I really, I don't want her to have a sad birthday where it gets forgotten about, even though this is kind of a sad birthday. But I also think there's something kind of romantic about Quentin making her a cake. I mean, she's normally the one making cakes. Okay, Alejandra has aged up. Let's... 
Um, older and wiser. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the fridge. And, oh, our, we've got neighbors here. And one of them is actually Camilla. What is she doing here? She's not really our neighbor. Oh, what the heck? No, 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 no. Why would this happen? I, the spontaneous flirting is so irritating. Oh, Camilla. Why? I'm just going to pretend that didn't happen because it didn't make any sense. Go share cooking secrets with Camilla. Uh, and then we have Everly Stacy, who's a neighbor. She brought us uh, Kava. I guess we could go do a friendly introduction with her. And is that it for our, like, neighbor visits? Uh, we've also got Aliki Tilo. I don't really know what Kava is, but uh, <laughs> we can try. It's been a while since I've made this or um, had my Sims eat it. Or is it a drink? I think it's a drink. I'm honestly not sure. Okay, you know what? I'm not interested in this island welcome wagon, to be perfectly honest. So thanks for coming. Uh, well, it's too bad we would have liked to get to know you better. Well, I get that, but we have things to do. I want to buy a restaurant, and I already have the one in mind. I went through a very laborious process of going through the gallery and finding Sulani restaurants, and I found the perfect one, or at least I think it's the perfect one. Quentin is off to work. Okay, so that might be his last day, because we are about to run a restaurant. Uh, which is going to be a little bit stressful. I don't think I'm very good at running restaurants, so I'm going to need all your tips in the comments. <laughs> because I do want to be successful at this, I just don't know how. I don't have the skill set for this. Okay, so there was, obviously, there's a couple of restaurants. There was this one here, which I, I still like. Um, it's 46000 or this one is fifty five. It's a little more expensive, but I think it's better... Oh, I'm torn now. I like them both. And obviously, I mean, uh, okay, hold on. Let me just think for a second. No, you know what? I'm going to go with the smaller one. It's it's smaller, but more expensive. Uh, and I'm going to actually go with that because I think we'll have more success with it. There's a few less tables. It'll be easier to manage because it's so, everything's kind of condensed. Uh, it was built by Simlessy, so it is, of course, beautiful. Well, they're both beautiful, but... Um, I really love Simlessy's builds. I always gravitate towards them. Anytime I need a build, I usually go and check her um, catalog, as they call it, on the gallery. By the way, the gallery is, for lack of a better word, bunk. <laughs> it's totally broken. I don't know what is going on with the gallery, but it's basically unusable. And it's really sad because there are so many incredible builds out there um, that deserve to be seen and they're not because the filters don't work right and it's just it's a completely broken system and it's doing it's doing simmers dirty to be honest so i hope that's the next thing they fix like i think we're good on packs just fix the gallery please uh okay so this is the restaurant it is so it's like really funky and just interesting it's kind of it reminds me of something you'd see on diners drive-ins and dives uh, so this is the inside. Like I said, it's, it's a bit cluttered. It's a bit much, very quirky, but I think this is exactly like the perfect, um, like business for like first time restaurant owners. I think this will be good. So Quentin will do the cooking back here. This will be his kind of domain. And then this, uh, will be, oh, there's also pet bowls, which is really cute. Uh, <laughs> this will be Alejandra's domain. She's going to do like the management of the restaurant. Um, and then there's even like a little like swimming area, water balloons, there's uh, fishing traps. It's just, I think it's going to be good. I think this is going to be perfect for what we're trying to accomplish. So, um, let's go over and it's playing island music when you walk in. I really think that this is going to be fun. I, I hope it is. Uh, we may have to change their outfits because we live on the island now and... Uh, the sweaters aren't going to cut it anymore. This this one will do. So yeah, this is going to be our restaurant. There's like a little place for live music, which obviously can't really be used. I don't... Th well, I guess people can busk. Um, there's washrooms here at the back. Can you just click on this and cook? Oh, you can. Interesting. 
She could even make cakes if she felt like whipping up a cake one day. I think it's going to be fun. Um, so I kind of want to like start working here. <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm tempted to just start working. I don't really know what to do. Uh, let's look into this. Okay, so we're the Sulani Beach Restaurant. As far as management goes, we don't have any employees and I don't think we need any yet. Um, so we're starting from the very bottom. Restaurant settings. So our markup, let's do 150 for markup for now. Um, I don't want to do advertising yet. We can get there eventually. Ooh, the menu. That sounds fun. Let's make the menu. This might be... Well, this is going to be a process. <laughs> this is going to be an in-depth process. Okay, well, let's go with water because every menu has to have water. Um, how do I add things to the menu? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> how do I... I think... Oh, God, I'm screwing something up. Okay, let me close this. Um, customized drink. Oh, so these are the drinks that are already on the menu? No, I want to be in control of this. <laughs> Uh, okay. I like the idea of doing smoothies. Let's, uh, I don't know. Okay, so it's got lots of tropical drinks, which I think is good. Um, I mean, I really would have preferred to do this myself, honestly. Um, iced tea, there's a Ridgeport, Espuma Agria. I don't know what that is, but okay. Um, okay, you know what? I think I'm just gonna keep that for the beverages. Actually, um, cold. So I thought this went by, okay, maybe I, there's a chance I don't know what I'm doing. Um, oh, there, okay. I was gonna say, I thought it went by like meals, but bowl of olives. Okay. So this shows what's on the menu for, oh my God. I just, I need a second here. Load preset clear menu. That's what I need. I want to clear the menu because I'm not loving this. I want to be able to do it myself. I think I need a few minutes to do this. <laughs> I don't understand. Okay. Uh, let's go milk, sparkling water. We'll do lemonade. Uh, buffalo wing tea. I don't know what that is. Fruit punch, fizzy fruit drink. I think we have to have all the fancy fruit drinks because... It is a island watching a spider run up my wall and I'm increasingly uncomfortable. Um, okay, so we'll go with, uh, what else should we do? Whatever that is. Juice on the rocks. Um, anything that has like a fruit garnish, I'm just, I'm like, yep, yeah, let's go with that. Iced tea as well. Sea splash. Protein shake? I didn't even realize those things were an option. Oh, I like all the umbrella drinks. Those are fun. Okay, I think we need more, like, kid drinks. Let's go orange juice, sparkling water, cream cola. Okay, good. So that is the drinks, right? Confirm. And then we can go to appetizers. Um... I don't even know. I'm trying to think of islandy things. I'm going back to when I was in Hawaii, trying to think of like what was on the menu. Animal crackers, bread roll, bread stick. Uh, this is weird. French fries, definitely. Uh, veggie roll up, bread, yogurt. Your oh, banana bread for sure. That was a major thing in Hawaii. That it was just everywhere. Uh, there's different salads, popcorn, shrimp. Elote, I think that's how you say that, but I, I really don't know. <laughs> I'm honestly not sure. I don't know what that is, but it looks good. Grilled plantains. If it looks interesting, I'm adding it. Oh, a poke, poke bowl? Is that how you say that? Seafood chowder. Falafel. Carrot bread. Soft shell crab cake. Yes, definitely. I think I'm going to take these things off the menu because they're not like the island vibe. Taquitos. Uh, a lot of these things, I don't even know how to pronounce them. <laughs> I think I'm spending way too much time doing this. I like how an appetizer is just a brick of cheese. 
A uh, big fan of that. Samosa, Caesar salad. Um, oh, ceviche and chips. Superfood salad, watermelon salad. We'll add that on there. And I think that's going to be it. That sounds good. Okay. And then for dinner, oh, main course, I guess. Mac and cheese acai bowl. I think I'm going to add that. I'm trying to think of things that are sort of like elevated almost to crown roast. There's going to be so many options though. Cottage pie, beef ramen. Yeah, let's go with ramen. I had ramen in Maui. It was really good. Uh, fried chicken slider. Yes. And Kahlua pork, island vegetable feast. All those things seem very, I don't know what these two things are, but they look kind of islandy. Popcorn crickets. I love that you can add that on there. <laughs> Um, spice encrusted burrito. That sounds interesting. Senior lunch. Oh, I think that means for like high school. Uh, okay. I'm trying to get through this really quick. Cause I imagine this is really boring watching me select all these different recipes to put in here. Veggie yakisoba. I was going to add that, but never mind. Oh, fish tacos for sure. Hamburger. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Tofu tacos. I should probably have a Vegetarian item, chicken chimichurri, curry, um, chickpea spaghetti. That actually sounds really, some of these sound really good. Shish kebabs, uh, like there's so many, <laughs> there's so many types of pizza. Sweet corn pizza, I kind of tempted to add that. Sweet and sour pork, ooh, mushroom steak, that sounds good. I don't know why this is fun for me, but it really is. <laughs> Trying to find these items that like suit what I'm going for. Uh, okay, I think we're almost through this. There's lots of soup, butter chicken, golden omelet, um, pan seared bass, blue steak. Oh my, that looks very rare. Tiger shrimp and smoked dewdrop broth. That sounds delicious. Definitely adding that. Turkey dinner. Um, Okay, I need to get to the end of this. Okay, I'm, I'm satisfied. I'm happy. And finally, <laughs> because if that wasn't uh, like just way too overwhelming, we're going to add some desserts on here. I think we should go with ice cream, maybe? Or should we go with... I feel like we should go with cake in honor of Alejandra for sure. I'm going to go from the bottom up this time. Uh, chocolate souffle. Let's add that on there. Um, lemon meringue pie. I think we'll just do a few. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Sim City Cheesecake. That's a classic. Lactose free as well. I think we should have that option. Uh, so there's a tiered cake we could add on here. There's cupcakes as well, which I think would be um, probably a good idea to add. There's gelato, mousse. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm just overwhelmed looking at this menu. Some of these things, I don't even know what they are. Gourmet fruit cake. Uh carrot cake, sugar-free carob coconut cake. Let's add that on there because it sounds very interesting. Um, there's like rainbow brownies. Okay, I think we're going to go at the top here. There were different, there's blue confetti coconut cake. Let's add that. Okay, I'm satisfied. <laughs> if that wasn't overwhelming enough. Um, the weight stuff, I'll, I'll adjust that stuff later because I do want them to have like islandy kind of outfits, but I don't want to have to make you guys watch me pick those out. Okay, well, actually, it turns out that that's you don't have to do that. <laughs> They're already like preset outfits. Uh, the host, I think we'll just go with the same and the chefs can wear that. That works. Um, sell the business. No, I'm putting way too much work into this. Uh, okay, I did that. Uh, we don't need to manage employees. We don't need to look at our finances. I think the only thing left to do is come here. Let's bring Quentin here. I mean, the only way to get started is to just jump in and try things out, see how it goes. Disallow new customers. Okay, so I'm guessing it works the same where you just open. Um, you cannot open this business because there are insufficient funds to cover it, its expenses. Okay, that makes sense. Let's switch over. Let's give some, we'll do like 4,000. That's probably too much, but 
I, I understand. We need like a startup cost. Can I have her change into um, like an islandy outfit? No. Okay, because I thought she, because she's like technically like a hostess, that would work, but never mind. All right. Um, I'm a little nervous. There's a bowl of olives just sitting here. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Is there food just lying around? I don't want that. Um, I don't think so. Just on this table. So I'm going to put that away. All right. Now, before we get into this, I, it's been a while since I've done this. I don't really remember how to run a restaurant. So please be kind. <laughs> and I appreciate guidance, but yeah, I, I totally forget what I'm doing here. And uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need some patience, but also some guidance. So let's open the restaurant. Oh, wait, hold on. To have a functional restaurant, make sure a host, waiter, and chef have been hired. Also make sure a menu has been set for patrons to enjoy. Well, we don't have any of that, but I'm kind of thinking that, well, no, we have a chef. <laughs> Quentin is the chef, but I think that we can have Alejandra do both waiting and hosting, maybe? I don't know. How do I make him, how do I make him cook? <laughs> That's what I want to know. I honestly am not sure. Uh, let's see. What do we have for options? We don't have any options. Can I not make him cook? Because that was my entire plan. Ooh, I'm a little nervous now. Okay, we have a potential customer, Juniper Grove. Uh, let's welcome her. So maybe I can't have one of the members of the household do the cooking at a restaurant. That seems entirely possible. Okay, does she want to be seated or like what's happening here? This sim has already been welcomed. So I think they spend some time deciding if they want to eat at your restaurant. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how that works. He bows. Oh, I'm not a werewolf. Uh, okay, I guess I have to welcome him. I don't want to, but... I find it weird that they don't want him to sit down. <laughs> Uh, oh, it shows their latest opinion. What is Juniper thinking? All this attention from the owner is making me feel really special. I don't know what's happening. Will they just seat themselves? I feel like I'm learning all this for the first time. I have run a restaurant in the past, but I don't remember anything. Clearly. Um, Alexandra, welcome. So where's that other juniper? I'm so confused. Why don't you just want to sit down? It's like they're loitering. Maybe we should hire staff. All right, I'm frustrated. <laughs> Aren't they just going to sit down? Like, what is happening? And there's nothing I can do. This him has already been welcomed. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Quentin is feeling himself. Fun. Okay, go cook something just because we're bored. Um, let's make. Or not. Why can't we cook anything? Use fresh ingredients. No, I don't care about fresh ingredients. Um, there's no. Oh, we have no fridge. Okay. Uh, I feel like that's probably something every kitchen should maybe have. So let's get ourselves a fridge. But I honestly, though, I don't think you really do need it. Full di disclosure. Um. Huh. Oh, that one th just has a wall behind it. Okay, so I don't think our like professional kitchen technically needs a fridge, but I do think. Oh, this isn't really gonna work. I think I'm just gonna get rid of this table and then all the dead things that are on top of it. <laughs> the lobster. As much as I appreciate the lobster and the fish, that's, that's great and all, but. Yeah, I don't think we technically need the, the fridge to actually complete the orders, um, but that's okay. What is happening? I didn't ask for this. Okay, now we can actually cook. Um, let's make... Oh my god, there's so many things we can make. Fried chicken sliders. There's just nothing else to do right now. Okay. 
Oh no, don't cook again. Oh, what am I doing? My game is kind of freaking out a little bit. Are customers leaving? Did I close the store? What is happening? Why did the store close? I did, I'm really confused. I didn't try to close it. I, I'm getting a little frustrated. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to run a restaurant because this looks really complicated. Nobody actually wants to sit down and eat. They just want to come in and socialize. Okay, we'll greet this person. This seems like it's going to be very tedious. Like, I'm glad all these people are walking in. Star Divine. Okay. Okay. I truly don't know what's happening. Oh, hello. <laughs> That's a choice that you made today. Quentin, what are you doing? Chatting with Isabella. No, stop flirting. This is so irritating to me. The spontaneous flirting. It's happening all the time. I don't understand it. Okay, we did introduce... Oh, whatever. I'm just going to fast forward and wait for something to happen because I do not know what's going on here. This is really silly and also unrealistic. <laughs> Who would walk into a restaurant and just wander around for hours? Okay, Brady. Is there something wrong with my restaurant? Like, am I doing something wrong here? This is very cute. Maybe I need wait staff? Do we think that's the problem? Disallow new customers. Okay, I'm going to disallow new customers because that'll just like put an end to new people walking through the door. But I would love it if these people would like want to sit down. <laughs> oh my god, this is so confusing. I may need to brush up on how to run a restaurant. See, now she's flirting. Stop. Does anyone know how to fix that? Maybe we need a chef. That is entirely possible. Cook, bake, serve, dinner. Hmm. Okay, you know what? I'm obviously doing something very, very wrong. They're all at three stars. That's the thing, though, is, like, the game should be telling me what I'm doing wrong. The sim has already been welcomed. Okay, I'm going to give it a little more time, but I'm thinking I'm definitely doing something wrong. Okay, so I just sent them home because, like I said, something is clearly wrong. I am, I don't know, I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong, but I think I need to spend some time maybe looking into running restaurants before I start to, to run my own. I think maybe it was a staffing issue. Like, we possibly need to have more staff around. I'm a little disappointed, but I'll go back tomorrow and try that again. Um... But yeah, like I said, I'm a little disappointed that I didn't get more guidance. Like, if there's something wrong, then it should be telling me what's wrong. But maybe we need to hire a chef. I was really hoping we could be the chef, but perhaps that's not an option. But like I said, we'll hire some staff and see what happens tomorrow. Um, and then also Luca is going to age up. I hope he just sleeps because... If he doesn't, he'll wake them up, and that's going to be really frustrating. Uh, also, we'll probably have Simone come back in a couple days as well. Like I said, I'm trying to split the custody 50-50, so I'm not forgetting about her. Um, she's just she's, she's still just with her mom right now, so um, did she age up? No, she hasn't aged up yet, so that'll be happening soon. We'll probably do that on, like, Tuesday? What? I think last time we had her from Monday to Thursday or something like that. Okay, let's get up and start our day. I'm going to age up Luca. He is not in a good mood. Luca's birthday. Yes, working on that. And then I'll have Quentin go grab some leftovers. Maybe we'll start working in the morning because I want to figure out what's going on with the restaurant. The whole point of moving here 
was to run the restaurant and I want it to be successful. I can't believe we have a toddler. That went by really quickly. Okay, take a shower. Grab some leftovers as well. And then we'll get our day started. Can we run restaurant restauranty things from here? No. Okay. So we'll have to actually physically go to the restaurant in order to hire staff. Okay, good. Having a good morning. I mean, normally I would want to run the restaurant in the evenings, but just because I'm eager to like figure this stuff out, I'm going to do it earlier. All right, so we're heading over there. Their needs are all filled. It's all good. I feel like we should probably spend some time with Luca on his birthday, but I'm just too excited to get this going. I want to run the restaurant. I want to figure out what the problem is, and I don't want to waste any more time. So we'll go back, do that. Maybe I'll just hire for all the positions just to see how things run. And maybe maybe that's the problem. Maybe we don't have the proper staffing. Um, but if that's the case, then why don't they just say so? Okay, uh, we need to see and oh no, don't tell me the menu's all messed up now. No, oh, that's fine. But I did, I changed the, these outfits and now it went back to whatever it wanted. <laughs> Manage employees. Okay, let's, oh, nobody has any skills. Okay, we're going to hire Giselle. Oh, she's the chef. Okay, yeah, you know what, that's fine. Then we need a host and a waiter. I'm just, like I said, I'm just gonna hire for all positions. See what happens. I swear in the past I have run a restaurant and I was able to have my Sim be the chef. I, I feel like that happened. <laughs> all right, this is our host, Sebastian. I don't know how to say that last name. Uh, Giselle is the chef and then okay things are she's already cooking which is fine but I mean we don't have any orders yet and so we'll just kind of see how things go I'm gonna like try not to interrupt this process I want to see what happens okay already people are getting grumpy have they not been greeted Stomping around. <laughs> oh, they did get a table. Okay, so I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Perhaps it's the host thing. We need the host. I'm a little disappointed, though, because I really wanted Quentin to be the chef, and now I'm starting to think that he can't do that. Okay, let's go greet people because it makes them feel special. You can also like comp people's meals and stuff like that. Hopefully they don't complain though. Stop with the random flirting. It's starting to really annoy me. Okay, how are we doing? I'm in the mood for some retail therapy. No, Quentin, just walk away. If you can't help yourself, then just, just leave. Wow, this place has some nice, what, wait, I should have read that. Some nice decor. Okay, good. See, the, I owe that to Simlessy, though. That has nothing to do with me. <laughs> All right. Well, you have a pleasant experience. Latest opinion. Just checking to make sure you're getting the service you need. The problem is I can't remember who I've welcomed and who I have not welcomed. <laughs> Quentin is supposed to go to his real job soon, too. Why do we just hang out over here? I can't fully wrap my head around that. <laughs> it is a thing they do. They just are, they gravitate towards the, the back here. Quentin, you better not be flirting because I'm over it. Is our wait staff doing her job? I think she is. Oh my god, these sims are so fidgety. I can't even click on them. 
Uh, did I help her? I think I did. I did. Okay. I've done my job. <laughs> I've done what I can. Why is nobody ordering food? I haven't seen one plate of food leave the kitchen. Uh, there's obviously something wrong here. Oh, wait. I think another table is being seated. Good. Maybe we could go. I wish this place had more friendly service. What are you talking about? I've been hovering over you this entire time. Go check on their table. Welcome. I hope you... But Okay. <laughs> Not even going to read that. Why are you too salty? I don't understand. You want to have a good experience, but you also want to go swimming? Like, what is it? Did you come here to eat a meal or not? Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. No, you don't get to order your food and then leave to go swimming and complain about the service. <laughs> like, your food is here. It's getting cold. <laughs> and then she stomps angrily back to her table. How unreasonable. I can't sympathize. How's their food, though? Um, normal and normal. See, it would probably be better if we trained the chef, which is why I wanted Quentin to do that job. Should I go check on them? I'm not giving you anything for free. <laughs> Sorry, but you didn't earn it. I'm so sad that these people aren't having a good experience, and it's entirely their own fault. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't know what to say to you. I'm not going to give them free stuff. That's just silly. I'll go clean up this table. The restaurant chef, Giselle, needs more training to cook everything on the menu. Oh, boy. That can't be good. Okay, let's go check on this table. Nope, not that. Why are you being salty? I don't like that they're in a bad mood. I can't even... What are you doing? I'm so confused about everything that's happening. I can't even click on them. I want to know how their experience was. I do like the waitress, I have to say. She's really fast, which is good. Um, but yeah, this day... <laughs> Quentin has gone to work. Oh my god. I also think maybe we could benefit from, from some advertising, because it's not like super great as you can see there's no one here can I go check on them again I think the only option at this point is to comp stuff but I don't want to okay fine I'll go give them free drinks and see what happens but I don't want to make this a habit because it would just cost us money uh, I'm treating this table to a round of free drinks may I recommend the water <laughs> oh, that's really funny <laughs> I actually, I love that. Um, so I got us one more star. Hey, creepy. Uh, have you been greeted? No. Let's go greet the werewolf. I wish I could have a sign that said no werewolves. Welcome to my restaurant, I guess. I mean, he's a paying customer. I can't turn him, or turn him away. Okay, we gotta do something with the corner over here because for some reason they have to hang out over here and it's very weird. I don't know what's going on. The wait staff has to pee. Okay, well. I don't know what you're waiting for. More free drinks? Because it's not gonna happen. Okay, let's go talk to Paloma. Check on table. Quentin has owned, earned 463 simoleons. So, I mean, maybe after all this, he will end up just staying at work and not coming to the restaurant because nothing's happening. <laughs> uh, but let me know in the comments. Can you own a restaurant and um, cook at that restaurant? Or do you have to hire a chef? Because I was hoping that Quentin could do it. All right, I'm gonna disallow new customers. I like how you can request a table at your own restaurant. See now, Sebastian is flirting with the customers. And you're getting a back rub. Like, what's happening? What, is something in the water? Why are people so flirty? Okay, I'm guessing you're done with your food. I don't even know. This to me is just, it's so weird. <laughs> they just like to stand in the water. 
Okay, can you all pay for your food and get out, please? I'm gonna go eat these shish kebabs. Don't, don't, don't mind me. I mean, <laughs> she's hungry. Oh, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> I feel like people would be really disgusted to see that. Oh, now these people are... She's starting to get tired from working so long. Well, so am I, but here we are. I can't interrupt their dining experience by closing the restaurant. Or can I? Why do they only have two stars? It must be the quality of the food. All right, let's close this restaurant. It was a disaster. Um, so we did make 221 simoleons, which surprises me because I didn't think, I thought we'd be in the hole for sure. Growth opportunities, meal quality. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. And service. Excellence, personal touch. So literally the one thing I had control over is what was excellent and then the rest of it, not so good. Um, so <laughs> I need some guidance. Clearly this is not going well. Um, I don't think I'm very good at this, which I feel bad about. Um, okay, so I'm going to leave this episode here. She's going to head home. I obviously need a lot of tips, tricks, comments, advice, feedback, criticism, all of that, because I am lost on what to do here. Um, yeah, please leave your comments in the... <laughs> oh, wow, I can't even speak right now because this is such a disaster. <laughs> trying to run this restaurant. Um, we came all the way here from Tartosa. We sold our previous business. Everything was riding on this and now I'm failing. Um, but there's still time to turn around. Just, just give me some help, please. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.